Safety tab. Warning, the following is intended for edutain informational purposes only. Greetings, hand, and welcome to Safety Time, the only YouTube channel dedicated to helping you get the job done right while maintaining 100% of your current finger count and bone strength integrity. So without further ado, let's get started with today's lesson. Ah yes, the ladder. Never before in the history of human ingenuity has an invention been more acutely intuitive and sadistically homicidal. In 2014 alone, over four and a half million people were killed and or horribly mangled while on or around a ladder. For a quick exemplar, let us observe this grouping of humans as they partake in the cherished American pastime of jumping off the roof of your house into your swimming pool. I know somebody who's going to be spending the rest of their day on the pool bench. Now that we have demonstrated the sheer lethality of the ladder, let us discuss a handful of guidelines that you can follow to guarantee a successful implementation of this most implementable of implements. Now first up is more of a philosophical musing than a true guideline, though it's still something very important to understand. And that is that, except for when it is stowed, the ladder is always trying to kill you. It doesn't matter how far away it is from you or in what capacity it is being used. The ladder is always silently plotting. <laughs> And you should always be cautious when using a ladder because the second you feel confident is probably also the second you will experience 9.8 meters per second squared. Even after your brother skips up the dang thing with nary a fret. Alright, so your first step in mounting the ladder without the risk of losing your general ability to enjoy life is to ensure that the ladder is positioned on a nice, flat, sturdy surface. And by sturdy surface, I don't mean a stack of patio furniture. <laughs> Nor do I mean a stack of ladders. Oh my god, man. Of equal importance is where you mount the top of the ladder. Now obviously with a step ladder, this point becomes null and void because you said, ah, don't step off the top of a step ladder. Your belt shouldn't even break the plane of that top rung, and if you're ever in a position where it needs to, you probably ought to reevaluate your role in the grander scope of humanity. Because it's probably about to change. But, the same basic principle applies to the top as does with the bottom. You want a stable, flat, as best you can surface, something that the ladder's not gonna slide on. And for the love of all that is holy, do not ever actively demolish that which your ladder is propped against. You'd have thunk it would have been a given. This man has probably lived a very difficult life. Ah, yes, the golden ratio of ladder safety, famously postulated by Euclid as he shot a vertical video of his best friend falling off a ladder. Bonus safety tip, if anybody's shooting a video of you while you're on the ladder and they're holding the camera up and down, go ahead and clamber on down because you're about to be in an accident. And this ratio is that for every four foot high the ladder is, it should be placed one foot out away from the surface against which it is propped. But you really just want to hit that sweet spot of about a 75 degree angle. And if that all seems like too much math for you, just, just eyeball it, wise guy. Let's take a look at some examples before we move on. No, you fail, fail too steep. And here we have my reason for believing that the consumer grade stepladder is the most dangerous thing humanity has ever invented, including all of our weapons for war. But otherwise, not a bad angle, he got it pretty close. Pass. Aha, I see we have incorporated the Z axis. And because they're stepladders, I know that they are mandatorily properly angled. Pass. No, 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 this is not the golden ratio, fail. 
This is actually a different ratio known as the wheelchair access ramp preferred slope. I tell you what, something about buying a stepladder at Lowe's just turns you back into a teenager again where you're pretty sure, you're pretty sure that you're never going to die. Still though, I can fit a scalene triangle in there, so that's a pass. Ooh, wow. <laughs> well, or just judging whether or not we got the ratio right, and it does look like they got the ratio pretty spot on, so pass. Good on you. Oh yes, here we have the good old tangent slope. We'll go ahead and give this one a pass because I like analytic trig. We will unfortunately not be discussing the human ladder today, but it is important to note that the only time it is acceptable to use the human ladder is when the top person is working on a high voltage electrical system. I'm sure many of you have noticed over the course of the past six minutes that it is always ideal to have more ladder than the job requires. In fact, every single thing we've seen, with the exception of these idiots, was people just making do with what they could get their hands on. Okay, actually, let me backtrack a bit because I will allow that this man probably had too much ladder. Now where you really want some extra ladder is when you're going to be climbing up the top of an extension ladder onto a roof. And when you do that, you're going to want approximately four feet of slack sticking up over the roof. And you'll see why if you've ever done it, because climbing up off of a ladder is 100 times easier than climbing back down to it. It's like, it's like when you climb up off of it, you feel like this. But then when you're trying to come down off the thing, you feel a little bit more like this. You don't want to go too far, though, because you need to remember that when you extend past the roof, you have just created another of the simple machines known as a fulcrum. And you do not want to get fulcrumed out. Let's take a look at this man. Ooh, wow, yep, yeah, probably want to get another model in there. He's gonna fall, he fulcrumed. As his weight advanced past the fulcrum point, it lightened the load on the underside, allowing it to slide along the floor and kill him. He's, he's dead. This one couldn't be easier. You don't want to weigh more than your ladder can handle, and luckily for you, it's all printed right on the side of the thing, or at least it should be. And if you forget to check the load rating, don't worry because retrospection is an equally effective way of determining if you've maxed out your load rating. You see, in retrospect, he maxed out the load rating. Aside from stacking the deck in your favor with proper ladder positioning and setup, it is penultimately important that you are aware of yourself and your balance and your motions. But if we're being honest, you're probably not doing anything too crazy. What are you, what are you cleaning, cleaning your gutters or like chopping down a tree or something? 20 feet up a ladder swinging a five pound mall, I don't know. And I'm pretty sure this guy is in ISIS, so this is the only clip in the video where it doesn't make you an awful person for wanting to see somebody get hurt. But the key here, though, is to just be a smooth operator, calm and collected and always aware of yourself and your surroundings and no herky-jerky movements and motions and, and certainly no jumping, especially if you're robbing a liquor store. <laughs> It's not gonna work. And then there's this guy, Captain Video. Yeah, you gotta get that cover off if you're gonna swim in it. French Canadian Cheech Marine. And he's gonna break every single rule in the book. What do we got? We got a we got a ladder mounted up against what looks like to be either an electrical or telephone wires. We've got a fulcrum point on that fence, and he's got it secured at the fulcrum point. Well I got news for you. Seesaws are secured at their fulcrum too. And what are we doing? We're jumping off the very tip top of the ladder. All right, here we go. Cover up the pool tent. I 
guess it's a bit much to criticize a man for his ladder safety failures when the intended job is to pull the pool cover by jumping through it. You know, there's just, there's no reason to be like that because it's, it's trying to be cool and what we're trying to do here is be safe. We don't care about cool. This isn't cool people time. Cool people time. It's cool people time. Welcome to Cool People Time, y'all. Today we're going to watch people hurt themselves on the hottest new products available. This must be in Jordan because he just got a lot of good air. Borderline animal cruelty is going to be all the rage this spring. Look, see, it's no big deal. No, wait, I'm sorry. It's a very big deal. Why did you even fall, girl? That's not cool. You see, isn't this behavior easily emulatable? Why don't you go out and get yourself a hoverboard so you can be like these people too? That's not why we're here at all, by God. Safety isn't cool, but you know what is cool? Ten fully functioning fingers and no broken bones. All right, hand, that's all you're getting out of me for today, so go forth unto your tasks with renewed vigor in your safety considerations. Like and subscribe if you value your well-being. It's not a threat. Just saying. <laughs>